Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And welcome back to the Miriam Stacey show My first tag, American girl to the American Muslim girl. Because one of my best friends, my son Abdurrahman Wanted me to do a video about how it feels to convert and the steps in between And um, I thought I'd ask everybody else to do it too So she'd have more perspective on how reverts feel and, and converts inshallah There are 20 questions and they're below So please feel free anyone to do this tag inshallah Okay, so the first question is, when did you convert to Islam? I, like, half converted in October of 2009, and then I, like, fully converted in January 27th of 2010. Why did you convert to Islam? I have a whole video about that, but just to be short, I started studying Arabic because I wanted to go in the military. I knew we were uh, highly involved in the Arab world. And then I started reading the Quran, and it just stole my heart, alhamdulillah, and I became Muslim. Uh, what did your parents think? Oh boy. <laughs> well, I come from a very, 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 very religious Catholic family. And my parents uh, were heartbroken. And I think my grandparents still are. And it hurts me because I have to choose between my family and my religion sometimes. It hurts me that to see them hurt. And I feel like I'm not part of the family anymore in some ways. And it really, really hurts. But, inshallah, things will get better and they'll become Muslim, inshallah. Do they treat you differently? Yes. I think the hijab is a big thing for them because we live in a pohic town. There's like five Muslims and the ones who used to wear hijab aren't here anymore. So, <laughs> here I am all alone with my hijab on. And also, they, they're afraid for me because of what the media shows about Islam. And the Muslim men, which is highly ridiculous and completely spinned. Um, I wish that I could go on the Bill O'Reilly uh, show, the O'Reilly Factor, or on the Glenn Beck show and talk for Muslim women and say, no, we're not oppressed. Yes, of course, there are some Muslim women are oppressed, but there are oppressed women in every faith and in every culture as well. And we, as women, fight for women's rights, and we have many many rights in the Quran. And yes, in countries like Saudi Arabia, many rights of women are taken away, but that doesn't mean that we agree with it. And right now, many women in Saudi Arabia are fighting for their rights, especially to drive and to do many other things, like voting, which is ridiculous, because we have been able to vote since Sharia law from the Hadiths and the Sunnah, and now we can't vote in Saudi Arabia. It's really ridiculous. Did any of my family members convert? No... But inshallah soon. I'm working on it. <laughs> okay, what was the hardest transition? Um, being comfortable in my own skin with hijab. Um, when I was at college, I was in a Arab world class with like many kids that were in the military because my first college was a very high... Um, they go in the military as enlisted and then they come out and they go to college. So they have the GI Bill. And, like, they would always talk about the Middle East and how women are oppressed. And I was like, uh, I wouldn't really say anything. And then one day I came in with hijab. <laughs> and they all just looked at me like, are you crazy? And then I got used to wearing hijab in Washington. And then now I'm home from the summer in my hometown where I went to uh, high school. And uh, I, like, when I go to st out in my town, I, like, wear, like, a hood instead of a hijab or a hat underneath my hood or something. But... I'm slowly, slowly becoming more comfortable with it, inshallah. Um, I don't know. It's not a fear of being afraid of being seen as a Muslim. I think it's just a fear of being seen as a bad person or, or a fear of people not liking you anymore. But I know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always with me, and I should never fear because those who bow to Allah can stand in front of anyone, inshallah. What was the easiest transition? The easiest uh, transition would give, was giving up pork and alcohol. Um, I was never really a big drinker. I didn't drink at, really at all. I drank like twice when I was 16 with like my girlfriends, like at a sleepover to be cool. Um, and then like wine at church and like sometimes on Christmas or New Year's, but that's really it. So that wasn't hard. And pork, like I liked Virginia ham a lot, but I never really ate it because you always had to get it at the diner, and I didn't really used to go to the diner. And they have turkey bacon. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you wear uh, the hijab? No. 
<laughs> Obviously, yes, I wear the hijab. Uh, was it hard to wear the hijab? Um, again, the transition. Um, it was hard to go from, like, Spanish style to this way, because, like, this way, you're definitely seen as a Muslim woman in, like, areas where people know Muslim women. Um, if you wear the Spanish way, maybe I'm Hispanic, maybe my hair is a mess, I don't know. But this way, it defines you as a Muslim woman, so that was hard, but now, alhamdulillah, it's easy. I love my hijab, and I couldn't go out without it. It's amazing, and it's so pretty, <laughs> alhamdulillah. Okay, do you pray your five daily prayers? Yes, inshallah. Um, was it hard to learn the Arabic for the prayers? I started out learning surahs really, really fast, and I didn't learn the English. I just learned the Arabic, because I was already studying Arabic. And now I'm backtracking, getting the English down. And now that I've actually sat down and, like, when I pray, I go, Allahu Akbar, God is great. Or, like, A'udhu Billahi min shaitan rajim. Like, I betake myself to the Allah from Satan, the accursed. Or, Subhan Rabbi Azim. Like, how glorious is my Lord, the great. Or, Subhan Rabbi Al-Ala. All praise to my Lord, the Most High. Like, when I actually say it now, I feel so much closer to God, alhamdulillah. And I really encourage anyone to um, do the same and actually learn what it means. Because if you don't know what it means, why the heck are you going to say it? Do you ever feel like people look at you different? Yeah. Being in the metropolitan area of New York City, um, when I lived in Jersey City, sometimes when you go on the the World Trade Center train, people look at you like... I don't know if it's disgust or if it's fright or whatever, but I feel like just like screaming, like, I'm a good person, I'm just like you, I'm a pacifist, I love the world, I love being American, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic of which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I was born here, I was raised here, and when 9-11 happened, I was 11 on a playground, and I feel like how you feel. I was scared. I laid in my mom's bed that night and was like, Mommy, are we going to war? And yes, we did go to war, subhanAllah. Like, I just want to hug them and be like, I feel the same pain you feel for that day when the sky was so blue and our two towers were taken away. That's from my poem. <laughs> subhanAllah. Does anyone ever attack you? No. One time I was driving and this guy was like, you! And I was like, no, you! And he just started laughing because maybe he thought I didn't speak English or something. It was really funny. Ever said anything to you? No. But one time I was parking my car in Jersey City and I didn't know if I was like, because sometimes like I parked, like the curb ended like here. And my, my, back of my car was hanging out a little bit. And I was like, do you think I can park like this? And this guy was like, I don't know. I'm only a pedestrian. And I was like, okay, enough said, enough said. Um, do you regret being a Muslim? No. Alhamdulillah, I love being a Muslim. It makes me a better person. It makes me grip life um, and take life for what it's worth and live every moment as it's my last. Alhamdulillah. If you could go back, would you not be Muslim? Um, sometimes, like, when I have my menses, shaitan gets in my ears and he's like, Oh, mini skirt, bikini, if you were to become a Christian again, your parents would love you more. And I'm just like, shut up, shaitan. Like, sometimes it gets in my head when I'm just like, no, I would, I would never go back. Because, alhamdulillah, this is the religion of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is what I've been searching for my whole life. I just found um, my diary from him when I was little. And every page was like, I'm so lost, God, help me. I'm searching for myself. Please help me find myself. SubhanAllah. Like, I never knew that this would be how I found myself. Alhamdulillah. What is your favorite thing about Islam? My favorite thing about Islam is definitely learning to be humble. Um, fasting Ramadan really taught me um, how it feels to want to drink so bad in the hot summer when you don't have air conditioning in your college because your college doesn't have air conditioning and you're just like, watching all your roommates eat and all the people around you eat and drink and they're just like, oh, this water tastes so good. And you're like, and then you see a poor person on the street and you feel for that person. You just want to hug that person and you just want to, like, go to, like, the nearest Hilton and, like, buy them a night and a new pair of sneakers and a new pair of clothes and let them have a shower. And, and you just feel so close to them and you don't feel this arrogance anymore. You don't feel like you're above them. Or, like, when you're running... And you see garbage and you pick it up. Why? 
not just because you should recycle, but because this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's earth, and we're, we're its inhabitants, we're not the owners, Allah's the owner, and we should take care of what he's given us. What is the hardest thing for you to do as I don't really have a hard thing that I do. Okay, maybe I do. I kind of have a Jersey girl attitude. And I grew up with a sailor mouth because my mommy <laughs> loves... <laughs> Hi, mom. <laughs> um, my family used to have sailor mouths. Um, and I had a sailor mouth and I am a Jersey girl. No, Jersey Shore does not apply. Snooky does not apply. I'm from the real Jersey Shore. All those people are from New York, okay? Or Northern Jersey, and we do not do that down here. We ride on boats, we ride on our jet skis, we surf, we swim, we fish, we crab. We don't put our hair up in the air. We don't have poofs, obviously. But, um, and being more refined with men, because ever since I was little, I was so close to men because I can't stand, cat like, backbiting. I hate backbiting. I hated it since I was little. Like, did you hear what Molly did in first period? No, and I don't care. Like, the male friends, because male males don't really do this stuff. They're like, no, I, I can't. I can't do it. <laughs> SubhanAllah. But my hardest battle, I had a friend in my freshman year of college. Um, he was really close to me. And when I became Muslim, I didn't want to, like, push him away because we would always hang out alone. Like, not alone. Like, we would go out to lunch or, like, go watch a game or something. And when I became Muslim, instead of drifting and pushing him so far away, what I did was slowly I would introduce, like, our other, like, girls. So it would be all of us and him and another guy. So it wasn't like me and him. And then t after time after time, I stopped hanging out with him. And he understood, um, hopefully. And what do you think we as new Muslims can change about our ummah and show that we are peaceful, loving, and want to serve Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? I think we need to get our brothers and sisters who are born Muslim off their booties and make them excited to pray, to fast, to give charity, and also keep renewing our excitement in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in reading the Quran, or going to, like, like, trying to find things that apply to our age, but are halal. Um, and also, getting out there. Like, we need to be on CNN. Put me on CNN. I'll do it. I'll do it for us. Put me on Fox News. I will be your girl. I will be your main woman. <laughs> I challenge you, Bill O'Reilly, put me on Fox News. Don't put the women who are oppressed and beaten and abused, because yes, there are women like that from Afghanistan, from the, from the Taliban and Al-Qaeda, and I completely condemn that, and I wish I could go to Afghanistan and take all these poor women and bring them in my house and take care of them and, and fix up their bruises and wounds because they're my sisters in Islam and their husbands are going to be punished by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because we're not supposed to beat our wives and we're not supposed to beat our husbands. We're not supposed to treat each other like animals because the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never beat a woman or beat anyone. And we should follow an example. We need to be out there. Um, and many of us are as doctors, as lawyers, as people of the community showing that yes, we are Muslims and we love our countries, um, regardless of whether they're, regardless of whether we're immigrants or not. Like for instance, I'm an American, born and raised, with, uh, Irish and Italian, English and Swedish Lithuanian background, and I'm moving to La France <laughs> for my next two years of college, inshallah. And I know I wear the hijab, but I have been Studying, j'étudie le français tout le jour de le saumon. I've been studying my French every day of the week, inshallah, and I hope my sentence was grammatically correct. Can't even speak English, so I hope I can speak French. And I'm trying very hard to learn as much French as I can so I can integrate into the system as much as I can to show the French people and the French government that I am studying in your country and I love my country, America, and I am just a visitor and I am not going to immigrate and then turn into someone who just stands outside of the crowd. I believe that as a Muslim woman, I can wear my scarf and be part of the French lifestyle for the time that I'm there. And my scarf will not put any borders in between me because I am fully aware of respect and how to respect people, inshallah, with Allah's help. And I cannot wait to be in France. <laughs> I hope you like my video, and I hope you have an amazing day, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. And remember, please do this tag. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi
Peace, Hijabi. No hate will come from these lips. Bye.